Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to my Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass course teaching you everything you need to know about this program. If you enjoyed today's lesson, be sure to check out the link in the description for the full Masterclass course. So now I just want to go ahead and take a look at export presets for you guys. And that is actually a couple presets that they actually offer you within this program or a massive list of presets, I should actually say, not a couple, um, that they offer you within this program to specify your uh, images and to actually, um, yeah, specify I think is the right word, for each individual platform. So if we go ahead and press Control M to actually get our export settings up, we could go back to format, switch that back to H.264, a.k.a. MP4 because it was just on our PNG from creating that still image and we can actually go here to preset now remember how I said always I like to keep that match source high bitrate however I keep that always like that when I'm just exporting for general com uh, computer purposes however if you actually go ahead and just hit that preset menu you are greeted with a massive list of presets for all of these uh, Amazon Kindle Fire, Android phone and tablet, Apple TV, and if we just go ahead and scroll down here, we could see the immense list of stuff here. But the ones I want to focus your attention on, guys, is going to be the actual um, Twitter right here, and of course, Vimeos and your YouTubes. These are all your specified presets for these websites and I believe there's even a Facebook one up here as well and if you guys actually select these presets for example if we are to go ahead and select uh, YouTube 10 uh, YouTube 1080p if we render this right now that is specified and customized to actually be that of the codec for a YouTube video and the ideal bitrate frame rate and overall TV standards and uh, and and all the clip um settings right here that are encompassed under a YouTube 1080p preset. Also, likewise, as I mentioned um, a while ago in this course, I believe I mentioned this, that if you guys actually want to uh, create customized uh, presets for your phone, these Twitter runs right here work amazing for Instagram and Twitter. Um, if you guys are trying to create images or create visuals that you then want to put onto your phone to upload to Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or, or any number of these social media sites. And also if you're creating um, big videos to actually uh, bring over to YouTube or Vimeo, there are customized templates available to you within the presets of the H.264, aka the MP4 section of this, that can actually customize and specialize your image and your and your uh, basic video settings to actually be that of uh, compatible with these different external platforms. Boom, there you have it guys. That is another lesson done out of the Adobe Premiere Pro CC Masterclass course that is 100% free on my channel. Uh, there's a complete playlist literally working through everything from the most possible basic things available in Adobe Premiere Pro, like, you know what I mean, creating a new project, uh, you know, all the way to the most advanced stuff available to you in the entire program. We're literally breaking through the entire thing. If you haven't already gone over and checked out that playlist, then by all means, if you've made it to this point in the video, I would 100% urge you to. Seriously, this is an extremely useful playlist. By all means, uh, you know, even if you know the, the very basics, uh, you know what I mean? You can go here and just, uh, you know, pick and choose which lessons to actually partake in. It's not all extreme basic stuff. It, it uh, is sequential. So at the very bottom of the playlist, it is the most basic stuff and it's essentially working its way up to the most advanced stuff available in the entire um, uh program Adobe Premiere Pro CC and um, you know what I mean essentially we're just consistently adding videos to this playlist working our way up to the most advanced stuff obviously I've already created the entire course it's over seven plus hours it is also available on Udemy um, and uh, basically I'm just uh, taking my turn uh, taking my time to upload this content here keep on putting it into this playlist and then uh, once I've actually built up kind of like a, a, a let's say 50 plus uh, videos, all basically little mini lessons breaking down this entire program. Then I'm going to start pushing a lot of promotional content uh, on my actual, you know what I mean, you, you, uh, YouTube channel. Just kind of pushing and directing you guys um, to this particular playlist. 
and basically just trying to direct as many people as I can to this playlist because uh, you know what I mean I, I originally created this project as part of some commission work for a, a really big Udemy um, instructor who was actually looking to branch off into creating content about you know subjects he didn't actually know about uh, etc so I was hired to create this whole project we worked on this entire thing together for him to actually sell on Udemy but for me to actually just give away to you guys obviously I could have sold this thing if I wanted to I decided I didn't want to actually uh, you know try actually just get like a you know five dollars a pop for it ten dollars a pop for it whatever uh, you know what I mean whatever price I set it as instead I thought there was much more value just in actually giving the whole thing away seeing as I'd already you know what I mean had some sort of monetary gain from it by the fact that I was actually hired to create this um, kind of big intricate project and kind of create the whole lesson plan everything for this really big creator over on Udemy who literally has hundreds of thousands of students uh, that he's taught various different topics to across the years obviously like I said he brought me on as I was kind of like uh, someone who had knowledge in an area that he did not we created the whole seven plus hour course by all means go to the playlist and check it out it is the full adobe premiere pro cc masterclass course if you guys know even loads about adobe premiere pro go click on the course you will see a couple videos that you maybe didn't realize i literally spent fucking hours combining all of my knowledge, uh, you know what I mean, into uh, of Adobe Premiere Pro, all the tips, tricks, and hacks I've picked up throughout using this in my day-to-day -day profession for the past years, uh, you know what I mean? So there's a huge amount of knowledge that I compiled into this thing. Overall, very helpful to anybody who likes Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm now going to leave the trailer that actually went on to uh, Udemy, the actual trailer that you can kind of watch before buying the course over on Udemy for the big instructors page just so you guys can get a little bit more enticed. If you're even still watching at this point, by all means, I'm sure a bunch of you are. Uh, enjoy the trailer, but the trailer is basically gonna tell you everything I, I just told you now. Go over, check out the playlist in the description, the complete Adobe Premiere Pro CC Masterclass course of 2018. Here we go. Really hope you guys enjoy and find it helpful. Thanks for watching. I'm Jack. Have a nice day, guys, and take it easy. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Jack, and welcome to the Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass course. I'm a freelance video editor slash videographer as well as YouTuber with 70,000 subscribers producing weekly content based around video production and I'm going to be your tutor for this particular course and we're going to be walking through everything together from the most basic to the most advanced of video editing tactics available to you within Adobe Premiere Pro. We are going to start off with the introduction section where we get all the basics out the way and by the end of even this first section, you will have edited together your first basic sequence. And the list of things that I can guarantee you will know how to do by the end of this Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass course ranges from such a huge amount of stuff, including a full understanding of all the tools and shortcuts available to you with an Adobe Premiere Pro, a complete understanding of animated titles, how to create basic ones all the way to advanced ones, how to create custom transitions, where we actually have hands-on activities to do this together, creating those custom transitions, as well as, of course, utilizing those basic default video and audio transitions. You will also have an understanding of the difference between color correction and color grading and also how to utilize both of these video editing and overall color improvement tactics in Adobe Premiere Pro. You will also have complete hands-on understanding of keyframe animation, whether that be using keyframes to lower the decibels of soundtracks, all the way to using keyframes to animate clip dimensions and of course animating text as previously mentioned. You will then have a complete understanding of exporting, whether that be general exporting, exporting for specific platforms using presets or even exporting in the maximum possible render quality available to you within Adobe Premiere Pro. You will then have a complete and intricate understanding of video speed and the speed manipulation tactics available to you in this program, whether that be using your simple reverses, your simple speed changes, or even the super advanced speed ramps and speed ramp transitions, which I am going to extensively get into in the video speed section of this course. We are then going to, in section 9, do all the ins and outs of advanced video effects, whether that be simply the VFX section all the way to 
all of the most user-friendly and time-saving methods I have personally had to learn the hard way, but I've compiled all of these kind of cheat sheets into that advanced effects section to be saving you guys so much time throughout your creative process in Adobe Premiere Pro. We're then going to uh, actually complete an outro of the course to summarize everything you have learned and you will know how to do, as well as including a master project, which is kind of going to be an unfiltered, kind of raw, hands-on experience and overall how letting you guys get an insight into what my actual real life live almost unedited raw video editing and creative process is going to look like in terms of creating a project for a client that I would actually be creating normally. Without further ado guys, there is so much in store for this Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass. I can't wait to jump into it. And with that being said, let's do it.